You treat many patients for vertebral compression fractures. Tell me, what are some of the more common reasons patients seek care for that, that ailment? Um, vertebral compression fractures can happen for a number of reasons. Um, uh, they can happen from osteoporosis or they can even be caused by certain types of cancer. What kind of testing is involved in diagnosing a case of vertebral compression fracture? Uh, the ideal way to check for a vertebral compression fracture is uh, with an MRI scan of, th of the spine, uh, including uh, a special sequence called a STIR sequence, uh, and that helps to look for acute fractures or recent fractures in, in the spine. And what are the uh, treatments for that? Vertebral compression fractures can be treated a number of ways, uh, including bed rest or pain control or even uh, brace. Uh, there's uh, a recent and more advanced uh, treatment of fractures called uh, kyphoplasty that allows for uh, treatment of these fractures. It is a surgical procedure, um, and it's a, uh, it's a minimally invasive procedure to relieve uh, the discomfort of uh, fractures. What kind of recovery time is a typical patient looking at? Uh, patients oftentimes have immediate improvement in their pain or significant improvement in their pain, and the recovery time is pretty pretty quick. Yeah, usually, um, uh, they can go home the same day, uh, although uh, uh, we recommend that the patient stay overnight, uh, um, but it's really up to the patient. Is it one of the more common cases that you see as a surgeon? We see a lot of compression fractures, especially in the elderly population. Uh, in, in the United States, there's about 700,000 uh, compression fractures diagnosed every year. So it is not as common as uh, some of the other diseases, but it is fairly prevalent in the elderly. What kind of uh, steps can, can a person take to uh, minimize the risk of uh, developing a, a compression fracture? Well, we know that these fractures can happen from osteoporosis or certain types of cancer, and osteoporosis really decreases the bone strength over time. And things to, uh, to help with bone strength can be taking calcium or, um, or, or other supplements and, uh, and a new uh, line of medications that can strengthen the bone um, called bisphosphonates. Tell me a little bit about what's involved in the kyphoplasty procedure. The uh, procedure is performed in the operating room. Uh, it can be done under uh, uh, mild sedation or um, uh, general anesthesia. Uh, and that's really up to the patient's preference. Uh, and it's, the procedure takes about an, uh, an hour or less, depending on how many fractures are treated. Uh, it requires two small incisions um, uh, in, the, in the back uh, through the skin, and um, uh, balloons are placed within the bone to restore the height of the bone, and then the bo balloons are removed, and, uh, and cement is, uh, is replaced uh, within the, uh, the fracture. And uh, the incisions, uh, the small incisions, are then closed with uh, uh, suture. What are some of the more common symptoms that somebody might come to you with? Uh, oftentimes uh, uh, these fractures can occur, can occur for any reason. Um, there's real, really no uh, uh, factor that may lead to them. It's just uh, a, uh, a history of poor bone uh, strength or the osteoporosis that can lead to the fractures. Oftentimes patients complain of severe back pain and, and oftentimes that back pain is improved when they lie flat. As a physician, working with the patient. What is the goal of kyphoplasty? What do you hope to achieve uh, through the procedure? And patients have been sat uh, generally satisfied with the procedure. Uh, the real goal is to reduce the amount of pain that they're feeling and reduce the amount of pain medication that they're taking. And oftentimes that's a good indicator uh, of if the procedure has been helpful. Oftentimes the patients come back to, the, to visit me in the office and they, they no longer are taking their pain medication, which indicates to me that the, the procedure was helpful for them. Tell me how, if at all, this, uh, this procedure differs from other surgical procedures or other non-surgical interventions that were used in the past. Kyphoplasty uh, offers um, an advantage in that it res helps restore the height of the bone of the fracture. This allows the patient to stand up more upright uh, it decreases their amount of pain uh, and oftentimes gets them back uh, to their regular activities quicker and, uh, and decreases the amount of time that they're immobile. If a patient is experiencing back pain, what does that indicate? Uh, back pain can happen for a lot of different reasons. Um, uh, in the case of compression fractures, uh, it's oftentimes severe pain without any pain into the, uh, into the legs. 
the best way to have it evaluated is to, to see your family physician and they can order the appropriate tests uh, which may include an MRI scan or even a bone scan. If a patient for some reason is unable to have an MRI, what is the alternative? The alternative to look for fractures um, in the spine is uh, is a bone scan. If they cannot get an MRI, bone scan is probably the, the quickest way to look for that. Mm -hmm.